In this work, we study how to segment scenes from movies. We are exposed to massive video data every day, such as YouTube, movies, TV series, which are very diverse and complex. However, simply knowing where the objects are and what actions the characters take are not enough for us. We are questing for a higher level understanding of the videos beyond the recognition of objects and their spatial information. We also desire to know the plot of a video, to know what is happening here and what is going to happen next. We found that movie is such an ideal data source to study this. Within a movie, there exist multi-semantic elements conveying the information of who, where, and what. Movie contains abundant multimodal information, including vision, audio, and language. While of large amounts, the metadata of the movies are easy to access, where a bunch of aligned data that doesn't need extra annotations are available. Different from common videos, the wide variety of different cinematical styles of shots is a unique character of movies, which can be used to convey intended emotion from the director to the audience. Movie contains a hierarchical temporal structure, which is different from the common videos we studied before. Let's start from the most basic unit of movie, shot. A shot is an unbroken sequence of frames recorded from the same camera. Based on shots, a scene is a plot-based semantic unit where a certain activity takes place among groups of characters. It's usually where an event happens. The ordering and combination of scenes determines the whole movie. Let's take a look at the difference between scenes and shots. When we look at any single shot, it's hard to infer what the current event is about, but only when we consider all the shots in the scene, we are able to get a sense to the underlying stories. Therefore, we treat scenes as the basic semantic unit in movies, which we should perform first analysis on. But how to obtain a scene segment, as it involves such high-level information, rather than simple visual discounts? As we mentioned, a scene is a series of continuous shots. Thus, we first formulate scene segmentation as a binary classification problem. We deal with this problem based on detected shots using off-the-shelf methods, and it takes a second step to decide whether each shot boundary is a scene boundary. We extract multi-semantic elements, including place, cast, action, and audio features to capture multi-model representation from input shots. We design a local to global approach to segment scenes. The clip level bnet is to represent the shot boundary considering multiple shots. Segment level sequential model is to consider the relationship among several shot boundaries among a large range. And a movie level optimal grouping is to consider the global contextual information over the whole movie to give a top-down guidance. The approach is trained with our dataset, Movie Scenes, which contains 20,000 scenes obtained from 115 movies. It's significantly larger than existing datasets in terms of the numbers of shots and scenes. With our design, the performance improves gradually and outperforms existing methods by a large margin. As shown in the ablation studies on multi-semantic elements, all the methods achieve 20 to 30% relative improvements, which shows the effectiveness of the usage of semantic cues. The qualitative analysis reveals that each modality plays important and complementary roles under different scenarios. Movie scenes could benefit lots of applications. We can either conduct a study based on it or take it as a tool to get a structural representation heading to a high level video understanding. Within a scene unit, its attributes and the interaction graph can be explored. For example, we can classify the segmented scenes into different categories according to the place. We can also generate human interaction graphs, which visualize the human relationship changes among the movie. From another perspective, the scene can be used as a tool to get a structural representation to understand the movies. The structural representation learned from the scene segmentation can be utilized to retrieve similar scenes across movies. You are welcome to visit our website for more details. Thanks for watching.